All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna show you how to onboard Google Ads clients using Zapier, ClickUp, and go high level. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, co-founder of Lead Genpreneur. We help marketing agencies and freelancers get better results for their clients with local Google Ads. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you like these types of videos about ClickUp, onboarding, Zapier, and other agency topics other than just Google Ads and go high level, let us know by leaving a comment and commenting down below. We wanna make the best videos possible for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna need Zapier, click up. You can also use Asana or any form builder really. You can even use go high level if you want, but in this specific Zap, we use ClickUp and the forms that ClickUp offers. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so the first part of this Zap, the trigger is a ClickUp form, our kickoff form for Google Ads being submitted. Now, again, we use ClickUp. You can use whatever form builder you want and set it as this trigger and have all that information pass through to do the rest of this. But this is what we use. We use ClickUp for everything in our agency, project management, time tracking, client projects, etc. So our whole team uses it and they all use this form whenever we onboard a new Google Ads client. We also have different forms for our different services like SE, Facebook ads, web design, etc. But in this zap, it's just this one. All right, so here's a sample kickoff form. It's not the whole thing, but we ask a lot of questions for our clients. And one of our kickoff forms, for example, says what's their client name, right? best email to reach our client and then best email to send form submission leads to. So that might be different. Phone number, where should we send phone call leads to? Maybe they have a different personal number and a business number, right? And we ask all these different questions, right? What's your budget? When are you gonna, when do you wanna launch, etc. Now what we rely on for all of these steps in Zapier is the first question, which is the name of your business. In ClickUp, this would be called the task title for your form. And what this does is we're going to use whatever we put here for the names of everything else that gets created in the zap. So uh, we'll come back to that. So, so if I click into the zap uh, action sidebar, you can see how we set this up. So the event is a new task created. So know that we're connected to the agency account. And if we scroll down, you choose your workspace, you choose the space that it's in. So we have a CRM, we have a folder called kickoff forms. And within that folder, we have a list called our PPC clients. And in that list is where the form is. And only ta the only tasks that are go in here are form submissions. So that is how that works. Asana, WP forms, high level stuff like that's gonna be a little bit different, but this is how we do it specifically for ClickUp. And then whenever we somebody submits that form, it lands inside of this list and Zapier will pick that up and it'll hold on to that information and then we can set up the rest of this app. So let's go back to the next step. So the next step, so the next step is create a folder in Google Drive. Now why why do we do this? Well, I think it's self-explanatory. Any documents, pictures, anything like that for this specific client, well, we're already going to automatically create the folder once they fill out this form. We don't want to manually do anything. We just automatically create it put it in our Google Drive folder, our agency folder. We put it under our client's folder name and the folder name, the actual folder name, is whatever they put for this first question. So if this is ABC landscaping, then the name of this Google Drive folder that we're creating is ABC landscaping. So that's the task name that we pull through. The next thing we do is we create a channel in Slack. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Slack, which is almost nobody in the agency world, but if you're not familiar with it, it's basically a messaging tool uh, communication tool for your team. So if you're not sure what Slack is, it looks like this. It's basically where we hold all of our client communication that's like quick messages or questions that our team has. We can ask about them in here. So we have Google ads, Facebook ads, etc. cetera, channels. So we always create a new one and we call it again, whatever they put as the first question. So ABC landscaping, that's gonna be the name of the channel here also. So we automatically create a Google Drive folder for our client. We create a new Slack channel for our client. The next part has to do with Go High Level. Now there's a bunch of ways to integrate Go High Level with Zapier. Really what we do as the event is add slash update contact and we make sure to connect it to the correct sub account. So it's pretty easy to do. A Zapier will walk you through how to do this. So I'm not going to go through that. But essentially all the information from ClickUp in that kickoff form will be passed through. So I can go ahead and select their full name, whatever their 
name is in the kickoff form. I can put that there, their phone number, their email. And really that's all we do. Their business name is gonna be that first question again. So whatever this is here. And we also add a tag, we add it client. And this is very specific, or this is very important because this triggers an automation inside of Go High Level. So if I go to a high level, you can see we have this onboarding email automation based on tag. So whenever a contact is created and the we have a condition that if the tag is PPC client or SEO client, then we send them an email. And this email is onboarding. And this email is an onboarding email basically telling them about our agency. Thank you so much. Here's our contact info. If you ever need anything, you can always schedule a call to meet with us here and et cetera. So you guys should definitely have an onboarding email if you don't have one already. So again, we add that tag inside of Zapier to trigger this other automation that send the, sends them the onboarding email. And you can really do a million different things with this. You can do send them a t-shirt, you can send them a handwritten note, you can send them flowers for all, for all I care, right? But this is how we do it as well. Eventually we're gonna make this way more, uh, eventually we're gonna send contracts, documents, etc. but right now this is how we have it all set up. All right, so after we have created the folder automatically in Google Drive, we created a Slack channel, we created them as a contact and go high level in case we ever need to email them or text them through go high level. Now, and we send them the onboarding email, thanking them for joining our family, our agency family. The next thing is getting all the tasks ready for the pre-launch, right? We have to get their Google Ads account set up, all their landing pages, all their automations, conversion tracking, all that stuff. We already have all those tasks laid out in a template folder inside of ClickUp. So here's an example of all the tasks we do as a team every time we get a new client. So we set up their sub account, we set up their Google Ads campaign, we do all the conversion tracking, buy their tracking numbers, extensions, privacy policy page, toll-free numbers, kickoff notes, budget, set up a pre-launch meeting with the client, launch the campaign, and then all the tasks once they're launched, post-launch, right? So all their daily optimizations, quarterlies, etc. So these are all the tasks that we have in a folder in ClickUp. So what's cool in ClickUp is that let's say you have all your tasks built out with all the SOPs already there. What you would do is right click on any folder in ClickUp go to templates, save as a template, and then name it Google Ads, new Google Ads folder, or new Google Ads client, right? And then that way, if we go back to Zapier, we create a new folder as the, as the event, and we go to whatever space we want it to go in. So we have a specific space where all our clients go in, and then it asks if you wanna use a template, you select yes, and you choose the one that you just used. And then now, every time, Again, this whole zap fires, it's gonna create a new folder with the task name, again, whatever this is here, and it's gonna duplicate all of those tasks. And then it's your job for your team to go ahead and assign those tasks to whoever the PPC specialist is on the team. And then lastly, you guys, we send a channel message in Slack. We say, hey, we got a new client. Let me go ahead, whoever's in charge of Slack can add all the appropriate team members to that Slack channel and they can communicate about it in that Slack channel. And so that's how we onboard clients using ClickUp, Zapier, and go high level. Now, eventually we're gonna expand upon this and add you know, documents, contracts, and get everything that we need to you know, get them inside of our agency and put it in the Zap. But for now, this is kind of just saves a bunch of time on little tasks like those Google Drive folders, Slack channels, sending the onboarding email, all those things can be automated with Zap. And there's a bunch of videos online that really you know, go super in detail for every little step. I just wanna give you guys a quick overview. If you guys want us to go more in depth and click up, or Zapier and stuff like that, let us know in the comments down below. We wanna help all you agencies and freelancers who are looking to take that next step. Definitely leave a comment, like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.